Hey guys, Muley Freak Aaron here, and today we are gonna go over the 2.0 Traverse Vinyl Harness. We're gonna talk about what's new on it, what's the same as the OG Traverse, and then we're gonna talk about the new 2.0 accessory pouch as well. So first and foremost, the most obvious change is its sexiness. So you can see here that we've got rid of all the black in the Traverse Vinyl Harness, and they're all tone-on-tone -tone colors. So our Ranger Green here, you can see has brown to it. Our Coyote has brown trans. Our Cryptek Vinyl Harness has brown trans, and our Multicam has brown trans as well. So first and foremost, it's sexy herb. So another slight but important change is sizing. So we increased the height, depth, and width of the Vinyl Harness just by a smidge so that those binoculars that were a little bit tight in the OG Traverse now fit much better. Okay, so one of the most important changes that we made to the 2.0 are the side straps. So on the OG Traverse, we had elastic side straps and they were fully elastic. So what's bad about the elastic straps is that the more weight you put in here, as you hike, as you move, they slip. And so as you're hiking, you kind of have to readjust. So what we did to make the compromise of being comfortable and having it move with you, but also not slipping, is we made the side straps a solid nylon, so they do not slip anymore. But what we did is we kept the elastic in the connector by the buckle. And so what that does, again, as your diaphragm expands and contracts, it does the, the binal harness does that with you. So it's extremely comfortable, but no more slippage, which is really important and super stoked about that change. Another small and simple change that we made, but that's really nice, is the back pocket. So the back pocket on the OG Traverse was a zipper and you could fit tags and then you could zip it closed. Well, instead of a zipper, we have an open elastic back. Now what that's nice for is your little cell phone makes it super easy to slip in and to slip out. And so you're hiking, you're phone scoping something, all you have to do, slip that in really easy, pull it out when you need it. We also improved the wings of the vinyl harness. So what we did is we made them a little bit bigger and we added a grippy material instead of the webbing here. The reason why we did that is when you connected something to the webbing, be it a knife or range finder or some other attachment, it would sit here and flop back and forth. So we got rid of the webbing and we put a grippy material, enlarged it once again. And what that does is your accessory pouch fits right over it. And because it's that grippy on grippy, you can move as you please and it won't move around. One of the more important changes that we made is the structured lip in the lip and I'll show you why. So what we did is on the OG Traverse, this was just cloth. We've now put a structured lip in here so that it's much easier to close over the back side of the vinyl harness. So before you kind of had to finagle it a little bit to close over the back side, but now with that structured lip, goes over, sits nice and tight and closes completely. Okay, so what's the same as the OG Traverse? Still made in the USA. America. Still an incredible warranty. We also have the same lightweight, durable materials. The harness is still forward opening and easy one-handed operation. You can see easy open, easy close, and we still have our one-handed tension system with just a simple pull, it tightens down, and with a simple push, it loosens up. We still have our customer favorite front pleated pocket that lays flush when it's closed and expands when open. You also still have the option to tether. So you have two tethers in each side. If you don't want to tether, again, I never tether my binos. I just roll it up and stuff wow. it in the little secret side pocket here. Never gets in your way. Also still have our sidearm holster in the bottom. We have a great review video on that if you want to go see how it works. We also still have both stretchy pockets on the side. Unlike some other vinyl harnesses, we like to keep those tight so that when you bend over, um, stuff doesn't fall out, stays tight, and uh, still easy to put your wind checker, calls, whatever else you like to in there. 
And last but not least, and one of the most important things when we set out to create a vinyl harness is 100% closure. Keeping dust, rain, snow, sticks from ruining your binoculars. They're expensive, so you wanna keep them nice. Next, I'm gonna review the 2.0 accessory pouch. The 2.0 accessory pouch is very similar to the OG accessory pouch. The only things we changed is sizing here on the back to fit the new sized wings and we included a tether so that you can tether your rangefinder and don't lose it. Let me show you. So you got a bull coming in, 32 yards, Peyton would still miss. You can drop it, draw, stick it, and put it right back in, that easy. The other thing that we've kept the same on the 2.0 pouch is the ammo sleeves. So easy in, easy out. You have room for ammo and a range finder and calls. Thanks for watching today. Again, the 2.0 Traverse Bino Harness. It's in stock and available. Go grab one for you, your grandma, your aunt, uh, your brother, son, whoever. Go grab a few of them, go put them to use. Enjoy your time out in the mountains. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe. Thanks guys.